Hello, my name is Jordan Caskell. I want to make a quick video explaining how not every single thing these days is fascist. Because these days, anything remotely right wing whatsoever is called racist, fascist, or far right. When it could be, couldn't be anything further from the truth. I'll start off with the Ita Italy's new Prime Minister, the new Italian Prime Minister. She believes in anti-illegal anti immigration. She was called fascist for that. Fighting illegal immigration is not a fascist ideology whatsoever. It is a realistic one. Same as when she says she wants controlled immigration. That doesn't mean she wants to kick out every Tom, Dick and Harry in the country who comes to the country. It means she wants to control who comes in. It is not fascist to state the realistic facts that we can only sustain so many people at a time within the country. We need to ensure we have the infrastructure to support people that are coming in. There is nothing fascist about admitting that fact. When we had the Jubilees in the United Kingdom, the Jubilee celebrations for Her Majesty, we had the Union Jacks everywhere, we had some great British spirit, British pride. People were proud to be British. They were celebrating our culture, our history and what we have achieved. But of course, you had people on the far left, on Facebook, Twitter, social media and virtue signalling wherever they can, comparing it to Nazi Germany. There is no comparison to Nazi Germany and our beloved United Kingdom. There is nothing fascist about taking pride in your country and celebrating being your nationality. It doesn't mean you hate other nationalities. It doesn't mean you wish death or harm to any other nationality. It's called being proud to be from where you're from. Proud of your country, proud of your history, proud of your culture and traditions. There is nothing fascist about that. If anything, it is merely patriotic. Even with the Brexit referendum, people still to this day who voted for Brexit, you see on social media called far-right fascist, racist. These have come nothing but words used to attack people with different opinions, to scur people out of their points of view. Everybody has a right to their opinion. It doesn't mean you have the right to scur them out of that opinion, to slander them because of their points of view from their ideology, from their ideas. The far word far right now is spammed by the media and many left-wing groups. You never hear anything, though, about the far left. The same far left ideology, where you saw many celebrating the deaths of her, ma the death of Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness Prince Philip. The same far left groups that supported communism in the Soviet Union, who established gulags in the Soviet Union, where people with different ideologies were worked to death. The same far-left ideology in North Korea today, a country with so many human rights violations, and the same country that constantly threatens to launch a nuclear apocalypse upon our very own planet. The far-left that can support Antifa, Antifa, a group that assaults right-wing party members and supporters. This far-left ideology must be held accountable. We must stop slandering people for having different points of view, for having different opinions. We must stop this mislabeling where anybody with a remotely right-wing ideology whatsoever is called far-right racist or fascist. We must stop mislabeling people, we must stop slandering people, and we must accept that people have the rights to their own opinion, and we must also acknowledge the damage caused by the far left of this country. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you all in the next video.